my name's Rob. Um, this morning I just bought a transit van and I'm going to be converting it into a home, basically. Monday the 3rd of April. Uh, I'm in the garage again this evening and I'm cutting up the parts to make the window uh, for the bulkhead. Uh, these are just one of the strips of wood that I'm using. Uh, we've got the old router down here. This big old bit of kit. Oh, blimey. What that does is it cuts some nice grooves in the wood, like this. This is one piece that I've finished doing and I've meter cut, uh, might have cut the ends, sorry. So you've got a nice angle on them. As you can see, I've finished cutting the frame for the window for the bulkhead, and uh, as you can see as well, it's just a little bit too long, but that's okay because I'd rather it be longer than shorter. Well, that's what she said, uh, but that's okay because we can cut that back down to size after a good night's work. I've not had any dinner yet. I think it's about eleven o'clock at night. I think it's uh, so I'll put the old kettle on. I have a cup of tea. This is the window that's going into the bulkhead that's now been painted white. Uh, just move back a little bit. Just to give you an idea of actually how large the window is. That's going to go up there. We've got these little hinges that are going to go on. None of this is put on yet, but and then we'll have two more that side. And we've got this little handle. It's just a kitchen drawer handle. Just to go on the bottom there, and then it will lift up. And then what I'm going to do as well is get a couple of little chains with hooks on so when you open it you can just chain it open if you want to keep it open and uh, yeah we'll hook up somewhere up there somewhere out of the way but yeah I just thought I'd show you that now that's done been fitting the uh, window tint today um, a lot of people have been asking why I didn't get a tinted window and that's because I've put a mirror film on it Good tip to know, mirror film goes on the inside of the window. I didn't know that, now I do. So let's have a little look. So a bit of comparison here, as you can see, um, this is the obviously door window which hasn't got any tint on it, and this one has. Uh, just so you can see the difference in the light that it lets in. Um, but you can still see out pretty, pretty well. As you can see, hello, there's a nice mirror finish. You can just about see through there because the door's open, but... Right, it's the 17th of uh, April, uh, Monday, bank holiday, bank holiday, Easter weekend. Um, you might have thought I'd got loads done, having four days off work, but I haven't because I haven't been in the mood, really. Um, reason for that is simply that the van won't start. And I'm getting really fed up with paying out, trying to keep the thing running. But, you know, you've got to keep going, haven't you? I've got to remove these three lights that are in the back here. And it's pretty simple, you just follow the wire back along here and they just unclip and then we insert them out. So I've unclipped it, I've just poked it back in there, and now... Ta da Done. That's good. One to go. 
it's uh, April 21st, Friday. Um, I'm not long finished work. Uh, I haven't done anything on the van for a while because, well, it's not been starting. I've just not not been in the mood for it. But uh, these things happen, don't they? So we're not going to give up. We just took a bit of a break. But today, I keep looking up at the ceiling here. Um, let's have a quick look up here. This beam needs to come out because this is where the uh, vent's going to go in. This is roughly where the kitchen area is going to be. Uh, down next to the door along here. And so we're going to have a vent up here. Uh, so this bar along here needs to come out. So we're going to cut that out and that will just be today's little job. And either tomorrow or Sunday we'll start cutting out the hole in the ceiling. Event. Well, good news is she's running again. Good old Tracy's back to life. One of the batteries is way too flat. Uh, it's got a twin battery system on here. Um, one of them needs replacing, so um, Kevin Mechanics just popped round. He's got it jump started off of his van. Uh, it wouldn't jump start on uh, the last time I tried it because the cables I got aren't good enough, basically. Uh, they're only for starting little cars and stuff like that, so they just wouldn't put enough current through to get this big old engine started. I just need to go out and buy a new battery. I'm going to stick a bit of masking tape across so when I cut the next two, it doesn't just fall out. We now have a hole in the roof. Put some silicon on up there, I'm just waiting for that to set, and uh, we'll build that up just to deal with these little knobbly bits. I don't know what the hell you call them raises, dips, whatever. Um, but yeah, so we need to obviously make sure the water doesn't leak through there, so that's what that's for. Birdie.
It's only a little cheapy one, but opens up the old uh, fly. If you want to open it, you just pull the handles and push it up. And you can do one at a time, just in case you only want one bit open, or you can have it fully open. And uh, it was raining pretty heavy earlier on, and I can't see that it's leaked at all. There you go. And that's the end of episode five. Um, it's been a bit of a bit of a roller coaster. Um, maybe in the next one we'll get that bulkhead finished that I keep talking about and not finishing. Uh, we shall see. Just like to say thank you to everyone who's subscribed so far. It's uh, pretty amazing. I got I think 735 it stands at at the moment. Um, I never thought I'd get that many. So thank you all for that. Brilliant. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one hopefully. See ya.